Good morning, everyone. This is Shruti from Vaspage. So today I am going to show you how to use the Terraform to deploy infrastructure on Google Cloud. So today we are going to specifically deploy network, subnetwork, and instance on Google Cloud. So for that, I'll share my screen first. So I have created a script to uh, deploy the Terraform, uh, sorry, to deploy the infrastructure. So this is a script, compute script, and there are basically three to four files which are mandatory. The compute.tf, main.tf, and this variable.tf. So I'll show you uh, the compute.tf. So this is the file where uh, we have to like write which resources we need to create. So here we are going to use the three resources, network, subnetwork, and instance. So this is the code to create the network. This is the code to create the subnetwork, and this is the code to create the instance. And the second file is main.tf. So the main.tf is the file from where the execution will start. It will give the version of the HashiCorp which is 3.5.0, and it will uh, give uh, the details about the provider, in our case, which is Google. So we can use any of the cloud providers. For example, we can uh, use the script to deploy the infrastructure on OCI, on AWS, or uh, on Azure. So mainly we can use the Terraform to deploy the infrastructure on any of the cloud. So just a little bit, uh, Changes are there in the code according to the cloud on which we are deploying the resources. So this is our script. And the third is the variable.tf. So variables.tf is the file where we can provide our, uh, uh, so for example, for the instances name and the network name, we can pass these values in the variable instead of directly putting it into the code so that we don't need to change the code anytime if we want to change any of these settings uh, like the zone name and the instance zone and the zone and the network zone region the project we are going to use and credential so all these variables we can provide here so now i have used the git bash tool to deploy the resources using terraform so if you're using the Linux environment, in that case, you don't need to uh, download any of the uh, tool. So since I'm using the Windows, so I have to use this tool, git bash. So I'll go to the directory where, so since I'm in the directory where I have saved my script, the compute script, and if I show you the files, so it will uh, give me the files which I have already been created in this folder. So uh, you can say that there are the two things that you need uh, to use the Terraform. So one is the Terraform uh, software and the, another one is the Git Bash. So for the Terraform software, you can download it uh, like its uh, latest version from its site. And after downloading, it will give you an exe file. I'll show you like what kind of file it is. So this is uh, this this terraform.exe like application file will be there and you just have to give this c terraform in the environment variable of your system so that your system can identify like uh, where to go so for example now if you uh, type the command terraform v it will give you the version so if it, this command is working that means the terraform is successfully installed on your system so now I'll show you like what are the steps to uh, deploy. So first step is the thing. Second step is the Terraform plan. So yeah, this var dot instance tags enter a value. So I'll show you like why and from where it is coming. So in the variables.tf, if you go here, like variable instance tag. So here I 
didn't provide any of the default value like I have provided for all other variables. So that's why it is asking me this value on runtime, the instance tags. It did not ask me for any of the variable. It is just asking instance tags because I didn't provide this value on the file itself. So this is this feature is very much mandatory if we want to provide the value on the runtime. Like we can use the script uh, for for multiple clients or for we can pass the script to any of uh, the other resources. So, I mean, we do not need to pass any kind of information and that is not uh, secure as well. If we provide all the, uh, the credentials and all kind of information in the variable file, so it's better to always provide it on the runtime. So, for example, like here I have provided the G credentials file, which is the JSON file, the JSON file path, which is uh, exactly the this credentials. So instead of providing it in the variables dot uh, if uh, like we are working on the live environment, so we should always provide such kind of values on the runtime. So in that case, we can just skip this uh, default is equals to this, and it will ask for this value on runtime itself. So for now, like uh, this, this is the tag. So I'm using test. So yes, that worked successfully. So it will just uh, tell me like it will create a script and maintain a plan like what resources uh, are going to add what to change and what to destroy. So in, in our case, there are three resources that will be added. So I'll apply this plan using Terraform apply. Again, it will ask me for the instance tags provide the same value. And that's it. The script will create all the resources that we have provided in our code. Yes, so creation complete. So test network. So the network is created. Now it is creating a subnet. that is done so test sub network is also created and now it is creating the instance And yes, so the instance is also created. So we'll go to the Google uh, Cloud and check like whether the resources have been created or not. So I'll go to Compute Engine. And yes, we can see this test instance has been created here. And I can go to the network and I can check like whether the network has been created. So the one thing that I wanted to uh, share uh, that uh, so since we have used the Terraform to deploy the resources on the Google Cloud, so like uh, so there must be uh, like uh, one question that must be arising in your mind, like how it is identifying on which Google account it has to deploy the resources. So the credential file that we are using is the basically the credentials of the service account on which we are going to deploy the resources. So for this account, I have created a service account and for that service account, I have downloaded the credential file and that credential file I'm using to authenticate. And in this way, so this Terraform is uh, deploying the resources on this account for that so, uh, and uh, getting authenticated using that service account. So that's it. 
uh, we have seen like uh, how to deploy the resources using Terra 